25 centuries before Christ, in the Lake Titicaca, the development of Andean agriculture began. Lupaca and Tiwanaco cultures started with the domestication and breeding of plants and animals. 1200 years after Christ, in the basin of Vilcanota arises the Tahuantinsuyo Empire with its capital Cusco, where the Incas ruled for more than three centuries, consolidating the progress of agricultural technology. These Andean civilizations reach high levels of agricultural development based on the domestication and improvement of a large number of species and varieties of plants and animals, as well as ingenious agricultural practices, all of which are still used today. Andean Corridor, Vilcanota Cusco and Lake Titicaca Puno, is located at an altitude between 1900 and 4200 meters above sea level. This route has different climates, ecosystems and cultures. It also includes natural landscapes and human diversity, as well as farming styles based on soil conservation and social management of water. Human adaptation to these high altitudes translate over thousands of years into the strategic use of land. As in the past centuries, the peasants are still capable of transforming a natural disadvantage into a positive response. Rural communities, descendants of the Inca culture, retain and manage a diversity of cultivated plants and livestock, all of global importance. The most common agricultural native species are tubers, potatoes, mashua, oca, and oyuko, roots, maca, yacón, chago, arracacha, grains, corn, quinoa, cañigua, tarwi, kiwicha, and fruit, aguaymanto, granadilla, sacho tomate, tuna and others. For livestock, the South American camelids such as alpaca and llama are the domesticated species. Vicuña and guanaco are their wild relatives. Guinea pig and turkey are also in the region. All this constitutes the Andean agricultural biodiversity as a patrimony of humanity. It deserves to be reassessed and recognized. Hay diferentes tipos y variedades de quinoa para soportar eh, la helada, para años de sequía y granizada. También tenemos pre para preparar diferentes tipos de platos como por ejemplo Eh, sopas de quinoa, mazamorras, espe, tartis, espiños y torrejas. The Andean agriculture, as a globally important agricultural heritage system, has four objectives. Strengthening the dynamic conservation of agrodiversity and heritage through the preservation in situ reassess traditional technology based on soil conservation, use of agrodiversity, water management, and environment. Strengthen local governance system for management and contribute to improve food security and nutrition. La idea del proyecto CIPAM es revalorar la agricultura tradicional andina con ingeniosas tecnologías que permiten producir en estas condiciones del altiplano. The potato and maize have been a first contribution of the Andean cultures to humanity. The potato has been essential to the diet of Peruvians for thousands of years. Archaeological evidence indicates that potato was cultivated in the Peruvian Andes 8,000 years ago. Domestication was done by the Aymara and Quechua societies. There are more than 3,000 varieties of potatoes 
which have been domesticated from generation to generation in the valleys of Cusco and Puno, not far from the archaeological wonder Machu Picchu. Alpacas and llamas play a very important role in the economy of a large population located at altitudes ranging from 3,800 to more than 4,500 meters above sea level. They provide fiber, meat, pelts, and dung, which is used as a fuel and fertilizer. Llamas are also used as a pack animal in some of the isolated regions. Vicuñas are the most important of the wild species since they produce a very fine quality fiber which is well valued in the international market. Peru possesses the largest number of vicuñas and alpacas in the world. People, food and animals interact in the Andes region creating knowledge. Traditional techniques for agriculture. Traditional techniques for animal farming territory social management, cultural practices, and the Andean knowledge system. They all make part of the Andean culture and lifestyle. To manage and conserve such richness of agricultural biodiversity, the Andean communities have developed and maintained ingenious agricultural technologies such as cochas or cotañas, a water management system designed to capture and store rainwater in areas where there is shortage of surface and ground water sources. Terraces. They are artificial steps in the surface of a mountain that adapt to the complicated geography of the Andes region. The Andean terraces maximize the rain and prevent soil from being eroded. wetlands or rangulated watering. Extensive areas irrigated with water diversion from rivers and springs off the mountains. They develop tender and good pasture species for raising alpacas especially. Traditional communal work in rotation of lands, laimes in Quechua or Ainocas in Aymara languages, is a system of social and customary management of crop rotation based on time and space, crops such as tubers, grasses, and legumes. Andean communities continue to make cultural rights that represent payment to Mother Earth or Pachamama for agricultural production. Rights include music, dancing, and an organizational culture for the provision of reciprocal services called the Aini. Andean communities maintain a system of knowledge on the variability of ecosystem soils, water management, control of pests and diseases, and the use of agricultural biodiversity in ecological and climate changes, all of which allow them a greater crop safety. In the Andes region, knowledge, skills and framing practices and rituals dialogue with nature. There is a strong sense of cultural identity despite all the efforts to modernize agriculture. But what is the GIAS project to preserve the agricultural heritage of humanity? The Globally Important Agricultural Heritage System initiative is about uh, farmers uh, who are in remote areas and they have created, through centuries, a very, very outstanding agriculture systems to get their food security and livelihood uh, from the, these systems. Uh, we have identified some 200 systems around the world which are unique uh, in different aspects, uh, food security, biodiversity, indigenous knowledge, cultural diversity, and of course, landscape diversity. Uh, for implementing this program, uh, we have been working at three levels. At global level, to get the recognition of these agricultural heritage, similar to World Heritage uh, sites of UNESCO, 
and at national level to review national policies in food security, indigenous people, to enable us uh, to actually help better these marginal uh, farms and uh, poor farmers. And at local level, particularly looking at uh, goods and services that these farmers are providing to humanity by maintaining natural resources and, of course, uh, managing biodiversity in particular. Globally Important Agriculture Heritage System Project is an initiative made possible by the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, the Peruvian Ministry of Environment, MINAM, and the participation of regional and local governments of Cusco and Puno. The project helps value these ingenious agricultural technologies in order to maintain this unique, culturally and biologically rich environment for future generations. High quality seed production of the main native crops will be an important activity that has to be implemented in coordination with local peasants and local institutions. Communal fairs will also have to be held to facilitate market. This will benefit 1800 peasants families that belong to 17 indigenous communities of Cusco and Puno. The Andean communities optimize the use of their resources relying on their own potentials and applying mechanisms to avoid ecological risks such as drought, frost, hail, pests and diseases. Their main concern are storing goods and exchanging products from different communities. This logic explains their attitude towards cash crops, meaning that people in this region prefer the security of producing food than receiving money. The Andes region in the south of Peru is considered among the most heterogeneous environments on the planet. A long list of cultural and agricultural treasures from the Inca civilization have historically been managed, conserved and evolved carefully over centuries, making Peru one of the countries with the greatest ecological diversity in the world. Values play an important role because they represent the great heritage valid for the region and humanity. Resemblance of extraordinary strength and resilience, adaptation and ability to adjust to our changing world and environment, climate change, desertification, natural disasters, malnutrition and food insecurity. What we have in the Andean agrobiodiversity is a legacy for today and the future. Let us work together to promote their dynamic conservation and recognition of the Andean communities, the guardians of agricultural patrimony. <laughs>